Hello, my name is Matthew. I'm in my fourth year at Macquarie Uni studying a Bachelor of Commerce, majoring in Marketing. During this time at Macquarie, I've studied some very interesting subjects. For me, seeing the statistical side of marketing and interpreting these numbers into valuable information have been the most interesting. Units like Marketing 216, Consumer Demographics, has given me great insight into how to use applications like Census Table Builder to gain further insight into the market with key demographic information. Similarly, to break up the statistics, units such as Consumer Behaviour have allowed me to explore my creative side in uncovering different patterns and trends amongst consumers. Ethics in marketing can refer to many different aspects. It can refer to unfair or deceptive marketing practices and also Corporate Social Responsibility, or CSR. I believe the best way to explain these issues are using real-world examples. Unfair marketing practice can involve specifically targeting, say, children with your marketing campaigns. With that example, children's minds are not fully developed and for the most part do not understand the actual cost of purchasing a product and in some cases use their parents' money to purchase. There is such a fine line for this issue in what is unethical and what is not. With the example of the recent Fortnite craze, an uh, online game by Epic Games, many claimed that the brand that launched the game were unethical in their marketing towards children, especially with use of microtransactions in the actual game. These are in-game purchases on top of the cost of the game, purely for cosmetic material that do not provide any benefit. Since the release of Fortnite, there's been many thousands of angry parents publishing their story that their child, usually between the age of 8 and 14, have used their credit card without their knowledge to make these in-game purchases. As a result, the parents are out of pocket, sometimes up to thousands of dollars, and will never see that money again. This is in no way, shape or form implying that this was Epic Games' strategy to promote children making purchases. However, there is a clear ethical issue as Epic do know the demographic of the people playing their game. It is mostly young children. Yet they still aggressively promote these transactions in game. And whilst technically this is not operating illegally, it is an ethical issue nonetheless. I believe there are products for those who cannot make informed decisions such as children, but these need to be marketed in a way that minimizes risk. Corporate social responsibility refers to the concept that in management, comp companies aim to integrate social, economic and environmental concerns into business operations and marketing campaigns. There are various concerns of each, however there is one key example of very recent times that refer to CSR directly and more specifically social concerns. By now, everyone has heard of the controversy surrounding rugby player Israel Folau. He had made offensive comments on social media towards a community and refused to admit that what he did was wrong. As a result, his team, the Wallabies, were forced into a decision whether to let him go or not. And whilst from face value this seems like a decision, a decision that just affects Israel or the, and the Wallabies, the extent to which this affects goes beyond to even sponsors. The major Wallaby sponsor Qantas has come out and stated that they will not support a team that allows this hate to go unpunished. This, combined with other factors, resulted in Wallabies letting go of Israel Folau. This is a prime example of CSR, both on Wallabies and Qantas's behalf, as they both had a social responsibility to uphold the respect of all demographics. And when a player who represents them put this in jeopardy, it's the responsibility of both parties to deal with it justly. With these examples, it is clear to see that marketing is not straightforward. There are many underlying factors that can implicate different things. The main point that I take from this going into my future marketing career is to uphold my own standards and always be proactive when it comes to looking at things from a different angle to ensure there is no break in the law or ethical issues.